Hey guys and welcome back. I hope you're all well. So this week I was very kindly gifted a skincare collection from Pixie. I've spoken about Pixie generally in my videos before, mostly my skincare covered videos. I've never done a dedicated video, but I thought I would do one on this new collection because you guys know how much I'm obsessed with vitamin C because it is an anti-aging ingredient. So this collection, it's in the cutest packaging and thank you so much Pixie for sending this to me. It was really lovely and very generous as well. So this is it. It, it's the Vitamin C Pixie Collection. So it says here, it's your daily dose of skin brightening, five power packed skin treats. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you a little bit about, first of all, why Vitamin C is good for the skin. I've mentioned this previously. I actually mentioned this quite recently um, because you guys know I love using the Ordinary Vitamin C Powder. So I have mentioned this before, but I just want to refresh your memory on why vitamin C is such a wonderful ingredient if you're new to my channel or anything like that. Then I'm gonna go through what is in the collection and just go through each product that is available and also do a demo on each as I speak about them. Now, a disclaimer again, when I do these skincare sort of first impressions, obviously I can't really tell you my real thoughts on a product. I do like to use the products for a good couple of months at least. Generally, when I give you my final thoughts, it's mostly when I finish the product and I'll share that with you in a skincare empties video. So I have the skincare empties playlist linked down below if there's anything specific you would like to see. So let's get right into this. I absolutely love this gorgeous, it's almost like a protein powder jar. So on the back of this it actually shares with you what order to use the products and also you can use them in the morning and the evening. I'm going to be using these products tonight in the evening, but like I said before, when I speak about them separately, I'll be doing the demo straight after each product. Okay, first of all, let's break down why vitamin C is one of my favorite ingredients and how it can benefit you. So vitamin C, if you were to read on the back of skincare ingredients, is known as L-exorbic acid or L-ascorbate. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I will have it up on the screen as well. So whenever you see a vitamin C product, make sure you look on the back of the ingredients list to see if it has either of those ingredients in it because that will tell you if it is a true vitamin C skincare product. And mostly I would generally look for that particular ingredient in the first five listed ingredients on the back. That way you'll know if it does say on the front that it is claiming to be a vitamin C product, you'll know that it is a very potent one. Whereas if it's really low down the ingredients list, then it's possibly not gonna work as good as you want it to. I generally, if I'm buying something vitamin C, I want it to be high up on the list. Some products I just love trying out and I'm not bothered if it is lower down, but things like the Ordinary Powder, that is a super concentrated, well it is 100% L-exorbic acid powder, so I'm expecting something like that to work really well because it is super concentrated. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. So vitamin C is all also brightening and it's a wonderful anti-aging ingredient. It helps protect against free radicals and wrinkles as well as helping renew and rejuvenate the skin's surface. So that's just a quick overview on what vitamin C is. I would say if you're not sure whether it would work for you or not, always patch test 
or if you can get a little sample or maybe a mini travel size to try out then I would do it that way it is quite if it is high up the ingredients list then it is going to be quite powerful I know the powder sometimes is a bit tingly on my face so if you have sensitive skin I would definitely patch test but the same with every skin type if you're not 100% sure and you've never used something like this before. So let's get into the Pixie Vitamin C collection. I'm going to take everything out of here. Actually, fun fact, I did take everything out when I received this and I could not for the life of me get everything back in here. I didn't know how they did it, but I managed to finally push it all in. But let's get it out properly now and share with you guys the products. So there is five products that make up the collection. By the way, I'm going to speak about every product in the order that it should be applied that Pixie recommends. So this is the Vitamin C Juice Cleanser. I love the look of this. It has orange flower water in it and it's a brightening cleanser, but you actually don't use it how you would use a conventional cleanser. It says to use daily to cleanse skin, apply over face with a cotton pad or with your hands and there's no need to rinse this. So this retails for £18 and you get 150 ml of product and this claims to be a antioxidant cleanser that helps brighten and cleanse the skin. So let's get right into the demo and my first impression on using this. I've just taken my makeup off with the Clean It Zero Original Cleansing Balm and then I did my second cleanse with the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Milk. So I'm now going to go in with the Vitamin C Juice Cleanser. The directions for this is it says use daily to cleanse skin, apply over face with a cotton pad like I mentioned or with your hands and there's no need to rinse. So this is actually a really genius and hygienic applicator. It's a bit like a nail polish remover bottle, you know, when you go to the salon and they pump it out of the top. So let's get some out. It definitely smells really citrusy, nice and refreshing, especially for this time of year in the summer. So I'm just gonna wipe this over my face just to get any remaining makeup off as well. Okay, initial first impressions. This is a really nice um, brightening. It's almost to me like a toner. It's really brightened up my skin, giving it a nice glow. So I would say, although these products you can use morning and evening, I would say this would be a better one for the morning, just to refresh your skin in the morning and wake you up. And I absolutely love this applicator. Really, really nice and convenient. Next up, we have the Vitamin C Tonic. Now, Pixie are known for doing lots of different tonics, including their original glycolic toner. I've used the glycolic toner, the rose one and the retinol and I do love a good toner because I find them super hydrating for the skin. So this is the 100ml one. This comes in two sizes. So the 100ml that I have, this is £10 and then there's the larger size which is the 250ml that retails for £18. On the packaging it says this is a vitamin C and ferulic acid brightening toner and this claims to tone, energize and promote collagen production and it also mentions on their website that this is for all skin types. As I mentioned the vitamin C tonic is a brightening toner. On the back this says it's alcohol free and great for all skin types use daily after cleansing. So I'm not gonna use any cotton wool with this. I literally, with any kind of pour on toners, I just pour a bit into my hand and then pat it into my face. To 
For me, this smells a bit limey as well, and I definitely think this would be a good one to keep in the fridge and again do of a morning. And it also just gives me a really nice glow. So it's definitely brightening on first glance. Next up, we have the Vitamin C Serum that seems to be the standout product within this collection. So this retails for £26 and you get 30 mils of product in here. I'll just show you what it looks like. So it comes in a pipette glass bottle and the pipette is actually separate. It does come with a top and then you pop this on once you open it. In the box of this, it says again, obviously this has the vitamin C and ferulic acid and it's a brightening concentrate. And this serum claims to brighten, treat and improve skin tone and protect against free radicals and sun damage. So I'm looking forward to giving this a go. On the back of the packaging, this says use daily after cleansing and toning, smooth on two to three drops all over the face, neck and decollete. Okay, the serum in this is quite runny and it almost looks like cloudy lemonade. So I'm just gonna put two, possibly three drops on. And usually with serums, I just press them onto the skin. Right, this definitely sinks into the skin well. It just leaves a slight sticky residue. It just feels a little bit sticky to the touch, a bit tacky, but I'm sure that will sink in. So that's all I can tell you about the serum. I'm definitely gonna have to continue using this on a regular basis to see any results from it. This also smells gorgeous, and I love the fact that this is super concentrated as well. On to the vitamin C lotion. This retails for £24 for 50 mils of product. I'll just show you what it looks like inside. So it has the pretty yellow packaging. And this is great for all skin types as mentioned on the Pixie website. And it claims to brighten, moisturize and energize the skin. Vitamin C lotion I mentioned is great for all skin types and it just says use daily as needed. So I'm just gonna apply this right on top of the serum. It is sealed here. This cream has a light consistency to it. Definitely doesn't smell as nice as the others. Okay, this feels really nice on the skin, but I actually think I put a little bit too much on because it does feel a tad greasy now. So I would say less is more with this lotion, although it's a lightweight lotion, it just feels a tiny bit greasy, but it's given my face a really nice glow. Last but not least, we have the Vitamin C Caviar Balm. This has the vitamin C and ferulic acid in again, and this is a brightening leave-on mask that retails for £24 for 45 mils of product. This is the same packaging as the Raise Caviar Serum that you may have seen in my skincare cupboard tours. I absolutely love that. And this one is a encapsulated vitamin mask. You don't wash this off, you just leave it on a bit like an overnight mask. So this claims to boost skin's luminosity, nourish the skin and promote collagen production. On the back, it just mentions to massage this onto the face allowing the encapsulated vitamins to melt into the skin. So as I said before, you don't rinse this off. And I think this will be a lovely treatment to finish on. Okay, to me this feels like a thick serum. You can definitely feel the encapsulated vitamins, which just burst and smooth out. They do initially feel a bit like an exfoliating bead, but then they just soften up. You can actually see the vitamins in there. They are yellow. Because this is a little bit thicker compared to the lotion, 
I would say I would apply the lotion in the day and then the caviar balm at night. So I wouldn't follow up with the caviar balm after the lotion in the evening. I would use them separately, like alternate between them. So overall, I really like all the products upon first impression, but obviously that's all I can tell you so far. I would say if you are going to get the whole collection or you do have the whole collection, if you want a bit of guidance on when to use them, I would say use the juice cleanser in the morning followed by the tonic and then the lotion. Then if you were gonna go in of an evening, you could double cleanse, then use the tonic, then the serum, and then finish off with the caviar balm. So ingredients wise, the vitamin C or exorbic acid, generally on most of these products, so the vitamin C lotion, the juice cleanser and also the tonic is the fifth and sixth ingredients down the list. So it's good to know that the vitamin C is a main ingredient and they're not just claiming that it is on the packaging. The only one that is a little bit further down so it's not as potent with the vitamin C is the caviar balm and then I think the reason why the vitamin C serum is the most popular product is because the exorbic acid is actually the second ingredient so this is the most highly concentrated vitamin C product within the collection overall I'm pretty impressed that the vitamin C is at the top of the ingredient list and so it should be really if you're paying the these sort of prices for vitamin C products. So guys, that is it. I really hope you found this helpful if you've been looking to purchase anything from this collection. They do actually have Pixie a little sort of travel trial size collection that has three of the products in. Let me just pull up what is inside the mini collection. So it says it's the best of vitamin C and it retails for £20 and in there you get the vitamin C lotion, so 15 mils of that, the vitamin C tonic in a 40 ml bottle and then the vitamin C caviar balm which is 15 mils. So that's actually a great way to try out this collection and it's also perfect for travel as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you have tried anything from this or just in general what your favourite Pixie skincare products are. If you want me to do a whole video on or like a rundown on Pixie skincare as a whole I will definitely do that if you want me to. And that is it guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community and have a great rest of the week guys and I will look forward to seeing you in my next one. Take care, bye!